I'm here in downtown Laconia. It's a great old theater. What is that? The Colonial. I like that. Anyway, a little bit about uh, Laconia. There are right at 17,000 people here. That's peak population. Uh, this town is uh, never lost population. Median age is 43. That's a little bit older than the uh, US average of 38. A lot of traffic on this road. <laughs> Not many people walking around though. It's 9 a.m. on a Wednesday, middle of August. 70 degrees Fahrenheit out here, 21 Celsius. Got some wind kicking up. That's actually a little bit cool. But uh, it's a lovely town though, from what I've seen of it record store right here a place that I lived in as a young man anyway so here's some more about the town uh, gender breakdown is 50 50 92 percent of the town is white 4 percent is Hispanic 1 percent is black 1 percent is Asian 2 percent mixed Median household income is 63700 a year. That's a little over 1200 a week. So incomes are pretty good. Poverty is low, 10%. Uh, the U.S. average is 16.8. So lower there. Children 17 and under, though, it's 21%. That's a bit of a surprise. U.S. average is 17.4. Uh, I was surprised to see children's poverty a little high here. Folks 65 and older, it's 6%. That's real low. Uh, I think it's 12 in the U.S. Crime, 26 incidents per 1,000. U.S. average is 23. So crime's a little high here too. This is the Laconia Public Library built in 1903 built to be a library back in 1903 and still a library to this day you don't always see that uh, Richardsonian Romanesque architecture one of my favorite styles ancient Rome cues but more castle like now this is St. Joseph Church built, I want to say late 1800s, Gothic architecture. I'm reading that it was slated for demolition in 2019. Can you believe that? This work of art. Luckily, some local citizens rallied around the building and saved it. I'm not sure if there are services being held in it, but uh, good for them. You don't just tear down a building like this. That should be preserved. Just for the architecture alone. Anyway, always nice to read good news like that. Another thing about Laconia I haven't told you about is the bike rally. Now, if you're a motorcycle enthusiast, I'm sure you're familiar with this town. Their bike week in June is one of the biggest in the world. Not quite as big as Sturgis, but they get, what, two, three hundred thousand people visiting the city for that every year. So, that's pretty big. How about if we take a look at a residential street or two? You see a lot of this here in town the parts that I have driven through. The town's median home value, by the way, is 215000 That looks like a guest house back there, doesn't it? Uh, a lot 
lot of beautiful homes here in this town. These uh, houses are right on the lake. Uh, Winnesquam Lake, I think is how it's pronounced. I'm sure I'm wrong. Uh, here's how it's spelled. Boy, what a house. I uh, came over to the other side of town to see if things changed any. Not really. Lots of beautiful houses. Uh-oh. Got some excitement happening somewhere, though, sounds like. Yeah, these are really old. But I really like them. It's really interesting looking homes right here. How old do you think these are? I bet early 1900s, maybe even older. It bills itself to be the largest arcade in the world. So I guess I better take a look. Fun spot is the largest arcade in the world. They've got some uh, pinball machines, quite a few of them here. Some bowling over here. Let's see what else they got. They have bumper cars for little kids. That looks like fun, doesn't it? Some ski ball over here. It's like a Dave and Buster's, but um, with a lot more personality. Some Mario Kart, one of my favorites. It's a pretty cool place. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. Uh, I think it's time to head to the next town. Okay, everyone. I am arriving at the town of Franklin. Franklin, New Hampshire. Now the town has uh, about 8,800 people in it. That's peak population. Town's not dying. Median age is 46, so it's older. U.S. average is uh, 38. 56% female, 44% male. Here's a uh, fire department. Franklin Fire Department. Let's see, the town is 94% white, 2% Hispanic, 1% Asian, uh, last 3% is mixed. Uh, median household income here is $61,700 a year. All right, I'm going to uh, head into downtown, which is to the left here, and we'll get out on foot. Take a quick drive through, then uh, I'll get out on foot. Uh, there's some things I want to see here. I'm liking what I see so far. I like this downtown, it's nice. It's rather beautiful. This is it here. Okay, so I'm going to uh, stop and get out on foot. Well, that is Franklin City Hall, built in 1892. I read that it's also the Opera House. That's a weird mixed use, isn't it? Interesting. Now next door to the City Hall is the Franklin uh, Library, public library. It is a Carnegie Library, built in 1903. Right off Main Street here, you can see this canal or river running through town. And uh, let's see what it says here. Franklin Falls Hydroelectric Station number two. So I'm trying to get over there. I want to see what that looks like on the other side. Franklin Falls Hydroelectric Station number two. I 
that's pretty awesome, isn't it? Let's see. Private property, no hunting, fishing, trapping, etc. So I guess I'm not going over there. But I guess, yeah, this is how they generate electricity for the town. Oh, that's pretty awesome, isn't it? It'd be kind of cool if we could go down there and see it better. It's really nice here, but it appears that we are not allowed. Let me see if I can get over there on the other side. Well, here I am on the other side. Give you a quick look. Water power at work. I can feel the mist over here. Man. There's a lot of potential here. An enterprising young business person might try to build a uh, tavern here overlooking the water. But that's just me. That's really nice here. Anyway, uh, let's see. I had told you the median household income was 61700 a year. That's uh, just under 1200 a week. Figured I better add that in. Pretty good incomes, and the poverty rate reflects that. Poverty here, overall, 5%. That's low. Children 17 and under, it's 6%. And folks 65 and older, it's 6%. That's less than half the US averages on all of those. Crime is low too. Last year, 14 incidents per 1,000 people. The US uh, as a whole, it is 23. 23 per 1,000. So, crime is uh, quite low here too. Anyway, all right, I guess that's a look at the downtown. Let's go check out a neighborhood, a street or two, if you will. The median home value of this town is 205,000. Wow, that's pretty high. Yeah, your house is a little more expensive here. Got this canal here. And these houses are along it. Yeah, all these homes are geez. late 1800s or early 1900s. Now right on the edge of downtown here in Franklin is this, the Sulfite Railroad Bridge, also called the Upside Down Covered Bridge. Now it's called an Upside Down Bridge because the tracks are on top and the trusses are underneath basically being protected from the weather is the idea this was built in 1876 uh, there used to be quite a few of these across the country no more this is the last one left in the United States and it's in pretty bad shape. It's uh, not been used since... Man, get a muffler, dude. Anyway, uh, it's not been used since 1973. So it's just been sitting here, rotting. I think I can get up top there and take a look. Let's try. Yeah, you can see they have pulled the railroad tracks up to this point here. You can see the uh, what's left of the uh, railroad track. I'm not going to say there's a trail here, <laughs> but I'm going to walk through anyway. 
along these tracks. See if I can get a look at the top of this bridge. I'm thinking that would be cool. What do you guys think? Yeah. A lot of thick brush here, but looks like somebody's beat a trail. Yep, they have. So I can get on top here. Wow. So there it is from the top. Isn't that awesome? And then there's the town right there. How cool, huh? Uh, downtown, Franklin. Well, everyone, I am in Concord now. Concord, New Hampshire. Concord is the state capital. So here in just a minute or two, I'm gonna go pick Nicole up. We're gonna wander around downtown and I'll tell you about the city. We'll visit the Capitol building. She'll get her Capitol stat, uh, passport stamped. Plus we'll go dine somewhere at a local restaurant just showing you a little bit of uh, the neighborhoods near downtown before I go pick her up Ooh, it's beautiful isn't it Wow get a load of that house that's a lot of house now check out this one it's beautiful, not in good shape, but wow. You can see the potential. Anyway, uh, the median home value in this town is 246,000. You can see I'm approaching downtown now. Yeah, that's something, isn't it? Go this way. See a few more. Really old neighborhood. Big houses. Yeah, they really build them big here in New England. Well, I'm just about to hit downtown and the Capitol building except they don't call it a Capitol building here in New Hampshire they call it a state house should be able to see it the gold dome there it is did you catch that glimpse of it that's the state house so what I'm gonna do now is go grab Nicole and we'll go check it out all right we are in downtown Concord is that right? Yes, we are. Got Nicole here. We are going to uh, take a look at the downtown. It's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, it's really pretty. It's really lively down here, too. Yeah, it's got a few folks down here. Now, let's see. Concord has 44,000 people. That's peak population. So, the city's growing. All these cities in New Hampshire are growing. Couldn't really find any losing population. Median age is 41. That's a little older than the U.S. The U.S. average is 38. 51% male, 49% female. 86% uh, of this town is white. 4% is Hispanic. 4% is Asian. 3% black. 1% Native American, last 2% mixed. It's kind of uh, diverse a little bit, huh? Yeah, it sounds that way. Well, <laughs> after you get past the overwhelmingly white 86%, <laughs> yeah. it's pretty diverse. Anyway, it's uh, quite beautiful here today. 84 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, what, 28, 29 Celsius. A little bit windy, though. Yeah. 
the wind will die down and then all of a sudden it'll get really, really strong like, like a big gust and it'll blow things over and then it'll die down again. <laughs> yeah, we're getting some gusts of wind for sure. Some of the other numbers. Poverty uh, is 9%. That's pretty low. U.S. average is 16 point, a little over 16, almost 17%. Children 17 and under, it's 11% here. Uh, that's pretty low again. U.S. average is 17. 65 and older is 6%. That's low too. Already did the median home value. I drove through some towns. Yeah, that car's about to fall apart, isn't it? <laughs> I thought somebody was getting married and they had cans <laughs> behind their car. I literally thought there was going to be like a wedding party driving down. Well, you know what it is? His, muff, his uh, tailpipe is dragging it's on the dragging. ground. Yeah, that was pretty That's funny. That's exactly what I thought I was going to see. Like a, a car that said just married on it. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, crime. Not bad. Last year, 18 incidents per 1,000 people. U.S. average is 23. Anyway, we are going to tour the Capitol building as soon as we find it. There's a sign that says Capitol Street right there, so... Yeah, there it is. The New Hampshire State House. The shiny gold dome. The shiny gold dome, yep. As we approach the building, I can tell you that it was built in 1819. This is the fifth oldest Capitol building slash State House in the U.S. Can we just walk in? Wow. Yeah. How many capitals have you gone to? We've probably done close uh, 35, to... 35, 36, something like that. Yeah, very nice. Quite a few. We're getting it filled up. Awesome. We will fill it up eventually. <laughs> yeah, we've gotten three so far on this trip. South yeah. Dakota, Michigan, and Vermont. We just got back, uh, we just left Vermont. Yeah, well, it'll be good. To, have you gone to Boston or Maine? We are going to Maine next and then Boston after. Perfect. Do you want to do it or? Yeah, you can do it. <laughs> there you Beautiful. are. And I can give you the brochure so you can do a self-guided tour. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's right next to New Jersey. Uh, the f first floor here is filled with paintings. Most of them painted. 1700s to some 1800s. What is this one? This is huge. This is, a, this is, the, ba this is the, the battle of the third day of the Battle of Gettysburg. So that's what it depicts the third day of the Battle of Gettysburg. This yeah. is Battle of Gettysburg? Mm hmm. The actual third day. So I think this is the. Wow. Remember we learned all about that when we went to uh, Gettysburg. <laughs> yeah, where is this at? Uh? It's in Gettysburg. I, don't I know that, but we're out on a battlefield. Pickett's Charge. Okay, that's like the most famous battle. We, we stood right there where it happened. So this is the Battle of Gettysburg, mm -hmm. the third day of Pickett's Charge. Uh, there's that clump of trees that's still there today. Oh yeah, you remember that? Interestingly, the artist is unknown. Did you read that? Yeah, the painting is by an unknown artist. Uh, I believe it says 1884. Interesting, huh? Mm -hmm. Wonder how they ended up with it here. We're on the second floor now. Uh, the building, it's, so far, is just a lot of hallways. <laughs> old, old paintings. It's really utilitarian, you know? They eschewed some of the grandness that you see in a lot of capitol buildings. Yeah, see? Well, let's head uh, to the third floor. But anyway, yeah, it just looks like this everywhere. They don't even have a huge grand staircase <laughs> like a lot of them do. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's the stairway. Heading up to the third floor, that's what the stairwell we just took to come up here looks like, too. Anyway, now let's go see the third floor. It's got carpet. Don't see carpet often in Capitol buildings slash state houses. As you 
should there's a view up here somewhere. This might be the view she was talking about. Oh yeah. Well, there's a look at the uh, dome. There's no rotunda. Yeah, no rotunda here, just like Vermont. Yeah, this um, state house reminds me more, you know, a county courthouse, the way it's designed. Just kind of no frills, no nonsense. Yeah? Yes. The building. Because you see some of these capital buildings we go into, and those of you, you who, those of you who watch our videos have seen it. They're big, spectacular buildings of splendor. Uh, but this is pretty quiet, pretty uh, reserved. We have exited the capitol building. We were going to go to the museum here. It's closed on Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Yes. Boo. Right? Yes. That sucks. Huh? That sucks. That's just our luck. <laughs> I'm going to show you this building. It is the state of New Hampshire legislature building. Built in 1889. Using local granite. Uh, Richardsonian Romanesque architecture. My favorite kind. It's a beauty. Anyway, uh, so we're just looking around now. <laughs> we're going to go check out this church. Maybe we can even go inside. Let's go find out. All right, so here's that church spire I just showed you. Uh, I'm trying to show you it now, but the sun's behind. So everything's in the shade. But anyway, this is the First Church of Christ Scientist. Now, now it was built by the lady that built by the lady who founded Christian Science. Yeah, Mary Baker Eddy. She founded the church. This wasn't the first one. First one was built in Boston. Yes. But she uh, she paid to have this one built. But she's from Concord. Yes. Yes, yeah, she's from yeah. Concord. Uh, here's another look at the tower up close. Should we see if we can go in? We'll pull in the door and see. Boo, it's locked. That sucks. Yeah. We are inside the church now. Uh, a gentleman who works here opened the door and let us in. So here we go. I'm right here. Wanted to see uh, the rest. They're working on their last stained glass window right now. Oh. So. Yeah. All the rest of the church has been completely remodeled and all the windows have been done. Okay, so they're remodeling it. All right. Awesome. I'm going to come down here and turn around. There we go. Oh, uh, that organ. I think I read about that. How long has that organ been there? I don't know. I believe it's been at least in some capacity since the beginning. They're very serious about their music. Yeah. And there's always hymns. It's a huge pipe organ. Yeah. They yeah, don't see those very often. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, it is. And you can go up a set of stairs and up where those windows are up there, there's the chime room where they pull the ropes oh, and really? play the chimes for hymns before, 20 minutes before the service. That's pretty awesome. awesome. And it's actually, the tower is the highest point in the city. I was going to say, is it taller than the Capitol <laughs> yeah, Dome? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I was driving into town, I was like, which one is taller? So, no, it is It's the tallest, highest point in the city. The tower is the highest point in the city. It beats the Dome. All right. Uh, the Capitol, or the State House, I guess you call it here. We are uh, one street off Main, the Main Street. We're going to go have some dinner. But the place we're going to is called Chuck's Barbershop, right? But it's not really a barbershop. Nice little area here. Now there's the main street. Yeah, the main street of Concord. I'm thinking this is Chuck's Barbershop right here. See it? It's got a barber pole. That, that is it. 
All right, let's do it. Yeah, I'm gonna follow you. Back here in an alley. Chuck's Barber Shop. All right. Yeah, it's like a speakeasy. We have to uh, solve the riddle, though. Where's the riddle? I don't know. Yeah, you're right, it's locked. Yeah, the door's locked. Huh. How do you figure this part out? Oh, you know what? I bet you uh, pick up the phone. What did you say? Step over toward the barber's, ship, the barber's chair. <laughs> it was just the barber's chair. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're a little confused there. <laughs> oh, we thought we were going to have to say, uh... Oh, we got rid of the riddles. Oh, you got rid of the riddles? Oh, wow, that's a nice place. Uh, are we going to set at the bar? Very atmospheric, isn't it? Wow, look at this place. It's cool. Thanks, bud. Wow. I like this place. Yeah. Well, it's supposed to be back in time, back when during Prohibition. Yeah. I'm going to uh, take a quick look at the place. This place, it just opened. It opened at 5 o'clock. It opens at 5 o'clock. Wow. And this is uh, the restaurant part. It's just chairs and stuff that's pretty cool yeah. it's not like regular dining tables uh, anyway okay well we're gonna sit down and have some food and drink all right we ordered some food I'm just having their plain burger uh, with gouda cheese I wouldn't say it's very plain yeah it's called uh, is it called well, Chuck's burger yeah Chuck's burger thank you yeah sorry oh that's perfect thank you yeah, so anyway, it's uh, 12 or $20 for it, and you're having a shrimp pasta mm -hmm. with an Asian, it's got an Asian sauce in it, kind of it an does. Asian. It does, and it had, an, it had a name to the, to the sauce, but I, it's escaped my mind because it's a very weird name. Yeah. I'm sorry. Anyway, it's $24 for that. So, uh, yeah, we're going to start working on them right now. Overall, my food is really good. My, the fries are just basic fries. But the burger is, uh, they use a, what is it, a Cajun, not a Cajun, but a spicy aioli on it. It's really good. It's fantastic. And it's bacon on it too, doesn't it? And bacon, yeah. What do you got? Well, you know what I have already. Uh, but my is pasta, it good? Oh, yes, it's definitely good. The shrimp are really big and plump. They're very, they're very tasty. And yes, the sauce is the sauce is good. I like it. I don't usually do a creamy sauce, but this is a light creamy sauce, so mm -hmm. I made an exception, and it is good. Yeah, they don't have a huge menu. It's very small, but that's not really what. It's about the drinks. It's, a it's about the drinks and the atmosphere and just hanging out late at night. This is a late night place. Yes. Uh, like we were the first ones here at five o'clock or about ten after five. Anyway, the bartender in this place really is awesome. He talked us into dessert. I wasn't going to have dessert. Were you? No, no. I would have ate a little bit less of my, uh, my entree if I knew I was going to have dessert. But he said, oh, man, this carrot cake will blow you away. It looks really good. I do love carrot cake. So do I. So here it is. We're going to try this carrot cake. What can we say? This carrot cake is fantastic. We gobbled it down. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, I like that. I like pretty cinnamon. good. Yeah, it's pretty, awesome. Pretty good. I, I always love like the cinnamon flavor to a carrot cake. I yeah. love cinnamon, so I always love the cinnamon part of it. And the icing was really, really good. You could taste the cream cheese and the icing. Yeah, it's an explosion of flavor for sure. Anyway, very good. This is one of my favorite places we've ever been to. Yeah. All right, everyone. So that's the end of this video. We are heading to Maine next. Maine. Maine. We're gonna have some lobsters. Isn't that what they're We're going to have some lobster. Okay, cool. So, that video's next. Leave it for